All right, good day. Welcome to our short demonstration and explanation of how to get Windows 11 to run on a Mac, specifically on a MacBook Pro. So the first thing you need to do is go look for a wrapper for Windows 11. If you try to uh, download the standard Windows 11 install and run it on a Mac, you'll find that there are a couple of things missing and it simply will refuse to run. Now, there used to be a hack that you could go through where you could make some registry changes. Uh, that went away about a week ago. So now you have to use the wrapper as it's called. So let's show you how to get that. What you're looking for is the Avio Media Creation Tool, all one word. So just do a Google search for that and it will come up. Oh, right now, there we go. We're in this case coming up right at the top. And you'll see it's got a little bypass 11 here. This is the right screen. So what you want to do is click on code, click download zip. We'll download this very small file. You can see right here, this little zip file. I'm going to right click on it and select properties. And I'm going to unblock it. Now you probably don't have to do this, but I'm going to. And then what we're going to do is right click on this and drag it a bit and unzip it. We're just going to extract it. it really doesn't make any difference where we put it. Okay, so we want to go to Media Creation Tool. We'll drill into that. And then just run the batch file, but you don't double click on it. You right click on it and select Run as Administrator. Yep. What we need to do is put a USB stick in. So I'm going to pop a USB stick in my machine right now. There it is. You can see that this little wizard has come up with a this little batch file, I should say, has come up with what version of Windows are you looking for? We're looking for Windows 11. And I would like to make a USB stick. Boom. Now this is going to take a while, so we're going to speed this up so you don't have to sit and wait. And the USB stick is done. All right, that's great news. So now what we need to do is go to our site, which we'll put a link in the top right hand corner for you to download these two files. These are the files that contain the drivers that you'll need to run Windows 10 or Windows 11. On our machine, we need to run this one that ends with 5621. We'll put both of them on here though, because well, there's a lot of drivers and I'm not sure which one you have. So let's just uh, copy that. We'll go off to our USB stick. And we'll just add them in. Okay, we won't make you wait for this. All right, so we put the USB stick into the Mac. Power it up. And you hold the option key. And you keep holding it down. And what that will do is tell it that you would like to bring up the boot menu. There we go. Just like that. So it's not booting off the hard drive. Well, it's not necessarily booting off the hard, off the hard drive. It's giving us a choice. We can boot off the network. Now you think maybe we want to boot up off of Windows or EFEI. Nah. You want to boot up off of this one. That's the first one you want to go to. And that is your USB stick. And that is the Windows 11 icon. And this will take a minute to come up, but it will come up. Now this is an Apple MacBook Pro, the A1398, which is mid 2012. It's using, what is it, an i7 CPU from Intel. And this will install Windows 10 or Windows 11, or for that matter, Windows 8 or Windows 7, beautifully. There will only be a couple of problems which uh, relate to drivers. And that is why we had you download the additional driver set onto that same USB stick. We'll speed this up so you don't have to sit and wait. All right, so next. Now this is asking us what license we have, and I'm going to say it's Windows 11 Pro, except the ULA. All right, so these are the partitions that are on the drive. We're just gonna delete them, all of them.
Now, because we used that special USB stick, the hardware check was skipped. And what this machine is missing is a TPM2, that's the trusted platform module, and the ability to use Secure Boot, both of which are required for Windows 11, but there are ways around them, and we've just done it with that special Windows 11 installer. Okay, we're going to speed this up so that you don't get too bored. All right, so let's get to it. Yep. I'm actually in Canada, but for the sake of expediency, I've chosen the US. Now, for those of you who have done this many times in the past, or at least several times in the past, you would know that it usually asks for a Microsoft online account. You'd also know that it asks usually uh, a few other things. So why didn't it do that here? Well, because it's missing the network card driver. We have to install that, which we will do in just a moment. And there we are. So what we want to do is take a look and figure out what's missing. And I can tell you what's missing is going to be the uh, network cards. So let's uh, select device manager and uh, see what else is missing. Yeah, network card. So what we need to do is grab the drivers from the stick that we copied on previously. And let's go off to our USB stick. And we'll take this file and copy it onto the desktop and we can close this we can close this all right now let's unzip this file so I'm just going to use the right mouse button and drag it and I'm going to select extract all I don't really care where it goes so I'll put it there for the moment now what we're looking for is Broadcom so we can go into this bootcamp folder we don't actually have to wait for it to completely finish Let's go into drivers and we're going to wait until Broadcom shows up here. All right, so let's go into Broadcom. And I never remember exactly which one it is. So I'll start off with this Broadcom controller here and see what we get. Let's go to device manager so we can see when it gets installed. Oops, that's what we're looking for. I believe it's the bottom one is the wireless. So let's just install the other ones. They're just drivers. And I never remember which one is the one I need. Okay, let's right click up here and scan for hardware changes. And boom, there's the network, which means we can now get our Wi-Fi going. There we go, we'll connect to my Commodore network. And now we'll be able to go to Windows Update and that'll fix up these video drivers to right click on the start button, select system, we can close that now. Then go down to Windows Update. And it's already checking. Hee haw. So we're going to run through this and I'll speed it up. So we'll go into Advanced here and I'll turn on basically download everything. Keep me up to date. And this is the big one we're looking for, optional updates. Drill into optional updates. This is something a lot of people will miss and you really need to do it. So 
put a check mark in all of them. So there are your two video cards. And yes, there are two video cards in this one. There's one built into the CPU. And they also have an additional uh, driver from, or additional video card from NVIDIA. And when we're done this, if there are any drivers that are left over, you can drill through your boot camp and try to find them. Well, not try to, you will find them. I'm going to close this. Now keep in mind that because this install did get around some hardware checks, that there uh, will be a couple of features that are largely unimportant to most people uh, that will not work in Windows 11. They relate primarily to security, but it will not put you at a stage that you would be less than if, what you had in Windows 10. It's simply Windows 11 is tighter than Windows 10. All right, this is going to take some time to finish off. We don't want to waste your time, so we'll wrap it up. We'd really appreciate it if you would click uh, like if you found this video useful and uh, subscribe is even better. They both really help with the Google algorithm. If you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Alternately, you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech. That's urtech.ca. All right, thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.